Antivirus software isn't exactly the most thrilling topic until your laptop starts acting possessed, your webcam light flickers by itself, and your inbox is full of shady login now emails. That's when it hits you. Maybe you should have taken digital security more seriously. And if you're going to do that now, Bitdefender Total Security is probably one of the first names you'll run into. But does it actually live up to the hype? Or has it fallen behind in a world where threats are getting sneakier and more sophisticated? Well, that's what I set out to find out. And after using it across multiple devices and digging into the latest updates, here's everything you need to know. Also, guys, if you want the best possible deal for Bitdefender, hit the link in the description because most of the stuff I mentioned has special deals you won't find just by going to their site directly. So keep that in mind as we go throughout. First off, Bitdefender Total Security isn't just antivirus. It's more like a digital bouncer, security camera, and first aid kit wrapped into one. You get real-time protection, anti-phishing, anti-tracking, ransomware remediation, a VPN, and a bunch of tools to make your life easier, all bundled into a single plan that covers up to five devices. Whether you're on Windows, Mac OS, Android, or iOS, it's designed to keep everything covered. And lately, Bitdefender has brought in a few smart upgrades that actually matter. The most noticeable one, the AI engine is better than ever. It now does a sharper job spotting zero-day threats and fileless malware, the kind that doesn't leave any obvious trace and usually slips right past traditional antivirus tools. Bitdefender AI doesn't just rely on signature databases anymore, it's learning patterns, adapting in real time, and stepping in when things look even a little off. Another feature that's gotten a quiet but meaningful upgrade is ransomware remediation. Basically, if something locks your files, Bitdefender now digs into your system's shadow copies and restores what got encrypted. It's not perfect, but it's a lot better than staring at a ransom note and wondering if your essays or tax files are gone forever. That extra layer of defense can be a real lifesaver if something ever does slip through. And performance-wise, they've rolled out what they call Photon Plus. It's their optimization engine, and the new version is lighter, faster, and smarter about when to run scans or updates. Updates. You don't notice it chewing up CPU in the background anymore. And even older laptops don't feel like they're running a marathon every time you hit full scan. That's a pretty big deal if you're like me and tend to open 40 tabs while editing videos or writing. The dashboard also got a visual refresh this year, and it's really helpful. Everything's less cluttered, more direct, and most of the features you actually use, like the VPN, parental controls, and device optimization, are now just one click away. It's nothing revolutionary, but it definitely makes it easier to stay on top of your protection without digging through menus. Now, Bitdefender has always been known for a strong lineup of features, and these core tools are still rock solid. Real-time protection works as advertised, blocking threats as soon as they try to wiggle in. It also does a great job at stopping phishing attacks and alerting you when you're about to click a shady link. Their network threat prevention keeps tabs on your internet traffic and shuts down sketchy connections before anything nasty can reach your device. There's also microphone and webcam protection, which I didn't know I needed until it started warning me about apps trying to use them without permission. Maybe I'm paranoid, but in a world of weird Zoom invites and browser exploits, it's kind of comforting. One of my favorite things is how easy it is to use. Bitdefender has a set it and forget it vibe that I really appreciate. Autopilot mode just takes over and makes smart decisions for you, like suggesting when to update software or run scans. You don't get constant pop-ups or reminders. It just does its job quietly in the background and only speaks up when something's actually important. On mobile, Bitdefender holds up pretty well too. Android gets the better deal with features like real-time scanning, web protection, app privacy checks, and anti-theft tools. iOS is a little more limited, mostly due to Apple's restrictions, but you still get access to things like a secure VPN and breach monitoring. In terms of performance, Bitdefender is still a beast. According to the latest results from AV Test for this year, it scored a perfect 6 out of 6 in protection, performance, and usability. That means it blocked every single threat they threw at it, didn't slow down systems during regular use, and didn't annoy testers with false alarms. That triple six score isn't something many antivirus products manage to pull off, especially not consistently. Now, as for pricing, Bitdefender's got a few plans, but most people really only need to consider three. 
Total security is $59.99 a year and covers up to five devices with all the essentials, real-time protection, ransomware defense, a basic password manager, and parental controls. It's solid, no nonsense, and runs smoothly. Premium security is $79.99 and adds unlimited VPN and anti-tracker tools. Good if you're big on privacy or constantly using public Wi-Fi. Then there's ultimate security at $89.99, which includes dark web monitoring, breach alerts, and direct help if your identity ever gets stolen. Overkill for most, but great if you want that extra layer. The free version is bare bones. It's good for basic protection, but that's about it. If you're deciding, Total Security is the best bang for your buck. It does everything most people need without charging for stuff you'll barely use. But yeah, there are some things I don't love. The free VPN cap, while it has been improved, still feels stingy unless you upgrade. The password manager feels like an afterthought compared to services like OnePass or NordPass. And the first full system scan takes a while, even if it speeds up drastically after that. But overall, Bitdefender Total Security is still one of the best all-around cybersecurity solutions out there. It's comprehensive, reliable, and keeps improving without turning into bloatware. It doesn't try to sell you things every two minutes. It runs quietly and it gets out of your way. Whether you're working remotely, gaming, banking, or just binge watching, you get peace of mind knowing something solid is running behind the scenes. If you've got multiple devices and want something that just works, this is still one of the smartest choices you can make. I've tried enough alternatives to know that not every antivirus gets the balance right between power and usability, but Bitdefender walks that line really well. And that just about wraps up today's video, ladies and gentlemen. If you have any further questions for me, just leave a comment down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can if you enjoyed today's video consider liking and subscribing to the channel and don't forget about that link in the description below to get yourself the best available deal for bit defender at any rate though thank you all so much for watching as always and until next time make sure to take care